Howdy my friends and welcome to the channel today. I'm Luke, Thunderhead289 here on YouTube and today we're going to talk about some timing tech and some things you should do long before you ever take out your timing light on an engine so that you know that when you do use your timing light what you are seeing is actually correct and in line with the events that are going on in the engine. So today we have our 1974 Maverick with us as an example. I've just been kind of going through it and getting it on the road for a nice winter daily driver should be pretty sketchy probably. But um, anyway, we're gonna take a look and use this guy as our example today. Let's jump right in. Now the topic of today is locating your TDC mark or top dead center mark. Now that seems pretty straightforward, but if you're familiar with Fords or you know some years of Chevrolets, they move the timing pointer all around. So if you don't have a properly matched harmonic balancer to your timing cover, you can get improper readings. You know you're actually looking for the wrong thing. And most of these vehicles like the 65 Galaxy, that uh, 74 Maverick out there and the 64 Galaxy, you know, um, more often than not, these have been touched at this point and fooled with, and you can never be sure that this mark um, is exactly correct on your harmonic balancer. You know, maybe someone put a harmonic balancer in from a different year, you know, the timing cover and it don't match up. And things like that can equal out to some extreme difficulties when you try and get your engine timed in. Now folks oftentimes neglect your ignition timing and they blame their carburetors for a lot of engine issues running issues and things of that sort. Now carburetors are actually very forgiving. Ignition timing plays a huge part in your engine's performance so you want to make sure that it's done up right. So, now over time, even if you do have the right harmonic balancer, it gets pretty difficult to see your timing marks on a vehicle that you drive fairly often. So, you know, or someone painted over them in the case of this harmonic balancer that I had on the bench. But what you can do is use a simple piston stop to determine where your TDC mark is and then all you need is that line where TDC is and then you can use a dial back timing light to locate all of your ignition timing events. So this is very important and this is a very easy way to mitigate a lot of the confusion that can come up from you know anomalies with your harmonic balancer or whatever. So with that let's jump on our 74 Maverick here and take a look because it's one of those that you'll see, it's very difficult to see the timing marks and with a timing light, you know, you can't see them at all. All right, so just a quick demonstration here. I have spark plug number one out on the Maverick engine and we've installed our piston stop on spark plug hole number one, of course. Now these are piston stops that I made myself in the garage, but you can pick these up pretty cheap, especially if you don't wanna go through all the effort of knocking the porcelain out and having to tap the unit, you know, they're sub $10, so, you know, they're, they're really not that expensive, and I'll leave the link below, but what I've found when you use an, an adjustable piston stop like this one on a Ford, about an inch and an eighth protruding from the bottom of the spark plug seems to work out okay, and so that's what we have here in, in, installed, and again, basically we're going to roll the engine over by hand until the piston contacts this piston stop and then we're gonna make a mark on the balancer and then rotate the engine backwards and make another mark. And so, you know, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but you'd be surprised. You do wanna roll the engine over by hand. I have heard stories of people doing this and then cranking it over with a starter until the engine stops. And, you know, obviously that's gonna give you some pretty catastrophic results. So there we go, just about there. All right, she's good and stopped and again you don't want to wrench on it too hard and gouge your piston anyway so we've come up to this point where we've stopped and what we would do is we would go in here and make a mark on our harmonic balancer you can see the timing pointer right there see if I can do this with one hand right there and so we would scribe a mark on our balancer and then we're going to rotate the engine backwards and do it again so just imagine that we just made this mark on the balancer down below. And so then we would simply take the engine and roll it over backwards until it were to come up and stop. And then once it comes up to a stopping point, that's gonna be this mark over here, of course. And then again, the point in between these two marks is going to be your true top dead center mark, you know, take out a tape measure, you can dang near eyeball it, 
because your marks should be pretty close together. Now once you have your TDC mark, the point in between your two stop points on your balancer, the rest is just a cakewalk. You just need an advanced timing light or a dial back style timing light. Um, and then you can set your timing events no issue. Now I prefer these because all you need is a TDC mark and you can get a good reading on all your different timing events. And they're not too tricky or you know difficult to use. Basically, I'll just give you an example here. Say I had the dial at 10. Now when the timing pointer lines up with the TDC mark, you are actually at 10 degrees of advance. Now if it were at zero and you were seeing everything line up, the engine would be at zero degrees of advance. So basically you just wanna see your timing pointer and the TDC mark line up and then wherever your dial is on your advanced timing light is where your ignition timing is at. And I'll leave the link below to this guy. It's a fairly affordable unit on the list of advanced timing lights. So, and you know, I've, I've had it for a long time and it's treated me pretty well. All right, my friends. Well, thank you for coming along with me today. Obviously there's nothing too incredibly difficult to understand about what I've done here in this video, but it's one of those things that if it's overlooked and it's not correct on your engine, you're not going to know where your ignition timing events are. And if you try and use a timing light, you know, what you think you have will be far different than what you have in actuality. It didn't cause you just a major headache. It's one of those things I encountered many years ago when I started in on this stuff. I didn't know, you know, what timing marks or whatever, and it was just a huge headache. So you're just way ahead if you can start from the very beginning and know that your TDC mark is correct. And, you know, I harp on it a lot, but ignition timing is everything. There's a lot of performance in an engine um, that's attributed to ignition timing being correct. Um, you'll really feel it. That seat of the pants feel will, is very much affected by ignition timing. So I encourage you to take a moment, step back, and do this on a, you know, if you just pick up a car, like I just got this Maverick, and make sure everything's right. This Maverick wasn't right. You know, I could tell right away that what it said for timing was not what it felt like in the car. And sure enough, the ignition timing was just way off. But anyway, I put this video together specifically for a few folks that had some questions on my Facebook group, um, Thunderhead 289 Carbon Engine Tech and Tune Forum. And it's pretty active there where people ask a lot of questions and then see they can send post pictures and whatever and I can interact with them much better there to figure out their tuning issues. So I'll, I'll absolutely respond here on YouTube, but it's a far better interface there in the Facebook group. So if you want to check that out, you know, go right ahead and you know, I'm on there pretty often. But, but again, thanks for coming along with me today, guys. I'll see you around. I got some work to do on this beater, so I better get back to it.